Mm. All right. Uh, good morning. Today is 25th of March 2024. And we are going to be racing today. Welcome to Grandstand. And today we are going to be racing at Newcastle, which is in the New South Wales of Australia. There's a little confusion here. I'm not under, I'm not able to understand what's going on with my race cards because they were available a few minutes ago, but right now they have removed it from um, my site. But we're going to be racing since we have a feed, and uh, we'll quickly do our first selection. So I'm not able to. Uh, Six has been scratched. We'll have to check it from here. Six has been scratched. Hide. Uh, the usual website that I generally use for all my resources that is uh, that has removed the New South Wales. I don't know why. And I have no way of checking the scratches today so we'll go with you know the system that i have been provided with i also have a scratching that is done preliminary on the race card but at times it is different but we will go with it so it's a 2100 meters so the track reading said good. I don't know why. Okay, okay. Thanks, bro. Thanks. I am not. Uh, I, I was about to ask you about this. Uh, you know because uh, I'm not sure what's going on I was about to ask your help on this
834 coffee manual 5 sure today if i have to check the uh they've removed it from here as well so if we have to check the odds that'll be from this but it changes drastically that's race number one i think That is the number one. I'll just go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You full rest card with odds. So one is the favorite, I think. which is a seven-year-old mare. I'm not able to understand what is going on, but we'll play far away from the first race at uh, Newcup. Jim, what's up, bro? Jerry, welcome. Bay, welcome back, my friend. Manjit, welcome back. You're doing Newcastle, my friend. Manjit had a fantastic day yesterday pretty well very 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 neat job done jerry what's up i'm not able to check the favorite in a in a proper clarity today so i'm going to leave that uh thing i'm going to leave that thing out today i do not want to uh do that jerry congratulations man you've had a fantastic day yesterday you did wonderful and i'm so happy for you for the trifactors yeah and you you did a fantastic job you worked very hard so did you know uh manjit manjit also did fantastic yesterday thank you jerry jimmy my friend we need to talk I'll call you after the uh, races today. <laughs> I hope that's our I hope that's our track. Is this our paddock, Jim? So ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow I'm going to be taking a day off. 
I've had enough and uh, tomorrow is a day off it is a festival time here in India today is the festival of the colors which is called Holi here in India people celebrate this day with colors they put colors on each other and they do uh, you know they do uh, some other stuff as well meet with friends drinks and all that but we are having that tomorrow uh, it's uh, the year end here in India the financial year end so Mondays are kind of very very difficult for a lot of us uh, so tomorrow all my friends and everybody we are going to take a day off and uh, probably try to have a nice time so that's after holy not today but yes tomorrow i'm going to be taking a day off and welcome to the welcome welcome back we need some coffee to win we need some coffee too so that's where it is and jim yes ivan pastrovich here <laughs> since you say end of financial year everybody have good year some have bad year but that's where triple p comes in you go get your triple p you tell everybody everybody have the power at their fingertips to be able to get through next financial year you make sure that you get it at your next little shop the bodega the meat shop whatever you choose choose triple p dollar 99 power at your fingertips <laughs> Bro, why are there are only three horses there? There's supposed to be more than that. Where are the rest? It's the last week, bro, of this month, and from first or second of April, things are going to be a little relaxed. Everybody has to submit their financial documents or the companies will have to submit their financial documents taxes everything so this time it's pretty neck deep here in my country but uh jim i need to speak to you there's something that i need to discuss this is newcastle newcastle manjit and i'm i'm uh, sorry you know i don't have any information other than this this is 25th march more big deals more more big deals at bet uk handicap this is the name i do not have my usual card i don't know why they have removed the card all of a sudden uh They still don't have the card. For some reason, there's something wrong. Hey guys, I'm serious. I was legitly falling asleep halfway through handicapping in the sixth race last night, so I couldn't do it. I know that I heard Mick ask me to not leave and do the derby, but. I couldn't do it. I, I was extremely exhausted. I got some good rest. I had a good day today. Did some good work that I needed to get done. So everything's good. I'm sorry that I wasn't there to, to do it, but my body told me I had to take a rest and I listened to it. So I'm glad you're doing that, Mick. I can't wait. It's going to be a good day off. We'll uh, we'll definitely talk after the races. So anyways, bro, I love you. Thanks mm -hmm. for putting this on. It's the best horse racing channel that YouTube could ever see. 
All right, three is Baymont. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got it, I got it, I got it. They changed the name, three, one, four. Three is the, uh, three is the favorite. One is the seven year old mare. <laughs> My bad, yes, Belmont, Newcastle. My bad, but they changed that name. <laughs> Or what I don't know they were showing Newcastle and then all of a sudden they change it to Baymont and I was right I wanted to take a look at that one. Yeah, that happened in last maybe about uh, three hours, you know, maybe a little more than that. That happened in last three, four hours. There was a problem with the data point as well. Because they changed. they changed yeah it's absurd i don't know why Oh, okay. <sighs> Bro, I want to know if you got the bok choy in the in the pork. Let me know. <laughs> Not yet, bro. Not yet. Yeah, I I think I uh, kind of messed up a little bit on the data point <clears throat> today because you know all of a sudden they they did some stuff right 
but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, being on track is different. Newcastle, I thought. And they're showing what is Sky Soft 7. I'll change that name to Bemont. I hope the names are right. Kitao 17. Kitao. Yep. They don't even have a map. They don't even have a map. I don't know what's going on. Why call it Newcastle and then call it Beaumont? That nine looks good. Seven G. That nine is looking very good. I'm going to change my coffee money from five to nine, I guess, but it's too late. Nine is looking very good. I can't change it right now, but nine is looking very good. I am, I'm not going with these ones. Uh, I'm going to, all right, that I can't do. So I probably, uh, Hey, yo, Mick, I don't like the way that they're, like, changing the size of the ring here, you know? It's like you got to take one step forward and, like, five steps back to be able to cover this. They're starting on the front stretch and then finishing on the front stretch. Like, what is this about, like, you know? <laughs> this is messy. That's all it is about, bro. This is messy. Nine is looking awesome, I cannot. Nine is looking good. In, I wanted to take in nine, but I'm kind of stuck with it right now. Uh, I've had a little bit of misunderstanding with what was going on. I wanted to get nine. Right, so we're racing 2100 meter. Maybe. Run, baby. Run, 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 run. Right, eight. Don't rave it, Mr. Jockey. Don't rave that eight. That eight is not a young horse. It is a seven-year-old. Don't rave it. Look what nine is doing. That's the right position. Eight, two. There's a coffee money. 
look what nine is doing eight to five nine is perfectly balanced eight is already tired it looks like eight is trying too hard eight is already tired where nine is looking better right there's that three coming up from the side nine is go baby go baby go baby go baby run nine uh oh uh oh yes baby do that thing eight got there all right that seven year old mare got there eight one and three that was a bad one that was a bad one eight one three eight one and three loss for the first one this is loss this is yep one eight three one eight three okay whatever it is that is terrible one eight and three fantastic manjit what one eight three two in that is the seven year old mare and no no i don't have a loss i have a, i have a double dip sorry i am messed up sorry 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 i have eight and three so one eight three one eight and three i have a double dip Control but that is just this is this is like lady luck this is like lady luck yeah what happened here is just a lady luck that got me in with that double dip otherwise uh baby I don't know why nine gave up, man. This is like quite a distance, one eight three, one eight three, man. No, one has all the numbers, that is for sure. One has all the numbers for it. But, if, but for a 400 meter straight, I don't know. Uh, that is, a, you know, this is one of the exceptional things that can happen. Anyway, we'll go to the next race. Now we have an idea. We'll go to the next one. Five has been scratched, so we'll look at second. <clears throat> 
five has been scratched.
Not too much in this one. Four eight three. Just due to the fact that she's drawn the. Three, four, eight, nine, bending back. One show there where I used to check, but I didn't. Okay. Is this our paddock, Jim? Is this us? It looks like we have been to this paddock, but I... Uh, this paddock is... I don't know if you looked at the last race, but I was adamant that that three was pulled in to get on the wrong lead, and then 
the horse wanted out and he kept getting pulled in and then the horse broke free from that and then you could see him pop out that last race i thought it was a joke no uh, you're right bro the, the 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 you know the fact that i have a double dip on this is just lady luck today and uh that is what it is i am i clearly had no but there's there's firstly there's something not right with with the data that i'm using today uh Uh, after the races we'll figure it out yeah that that's grafton it 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 is like uh op this is grafton showing it looked familiar it looked familiar the paddock looked familiar but i was not sure whether it is grafton or vermont we have raced a few times at Grafton. Grafton is good. This is Grafton. Six and eight. Boo, 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 boo. yeah anything above anything around or above 400 meters that gives all the runners a very good opportunity to do their best so i always look for that distance lesser than that becomes a little tricky uh it needs a little time but There are a few tracks with maybe about 150, 200 meters straight. Hey Mick, I want to tell you something. You know, today after I, I actually like shoveled in my whole driveway and got my driveway kind of like I wanted. So I had a, a day of hard work after I woke up and got some rest. And uh, I had a friend over this evening before racing started. And uh, he wanted me to tell you... Um, from the bottom of his heart that he wishes you and I nothing but success with this program. And he only wishes that he had the knowledge that you and I had to be able to actually get involved with, with racing. He doesn't feel that he has the know-how I'm trying to show him slowly, but for him to say that to me, you know, it, it meant a lot, dude. And I wanted to pass that on. I hope it means something to you, but he wishes that he could do it. But, you know, I understand racing is for certain people. So I'll, I'm, I'm trying to show him little by little, and he's, he's getting it. So uh, just wanted you to know, bro. That's fabulous. Uh, Jim, the, you know, the, the basic reason for me to start this channel at the age of 46, 47, whatever I am, the basic reason was this to, you know, make people... Uh, aware of what to look for while racing and the, the the thing which is the most important part is when to avoid when to say no so that's the basis of you know what this channel is all about we are here we are here to do analysis we are here to discuss the races we are here to uh, you know, you know, bring in a clarity for people that, you know, how things work. There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of jargons. There's a lot of lectures out there, but you know, what happens on the field is what happens on the field and you have to have, uh, yes so that is the basis i mean it's a sport you will win you will lose that's there but that's that's with any sport you cannot be winning every game but to know your strength 
to be able to choose the right uh, to be able to make the right decisions is uh, what this you know club is all about we all get together why because we provide the uh you know intel on what we are doing what we should be doing and what is the result of that you know so the more we talk the more we put into uh put things into perspective a lot of people who are not aware of this and you know i my heart goes out for a lot of people they kind of uh you know they look at the, the you know they they go with the flow and they they put their money on 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 a decision which is so fragile that uh all that they have incurred is loss loss and loss for for the entire you know racing um career they had i have known some and uh when you speak to them you will know that you know the, the, there needs to be a there needs to be a little uh i don't know how to put this but i think uh a guideline i mean when you learn driving you go to a driving school you get a license to drive when you learn bicycle probably your father is helping you to learn that bicycle when you go to school you you get the basis of the education so there has to be a guideline to some of some kind that can actually uh, you know put things into perspective so that's the basis of this bro the best way that i describe this channel to anybody that asks me like why i do this every day of the week is because number one i love the sport of horse racing and that's besides the fact but in the sport of horse racing there is a financial gain that you can make if you smarten yourself up which is what me and mick give everybody we give our intel i'm an old school handicapper i use i use mixed data mixed with my handicapping to come up with my picks okay that's how i do it if there's something in his data that i don't see right i will say something you will you will see me from time to time ask Mick about a certain number, but for the most part, I try to I try to integrate the data. I do the handicapping just like you guys do. There's gain to be made, but the new new people coming in, it can be a little overwhelming, and we're trying to bridge that gap and make it funny and make it fun, so that way that everybody can be here and we can do this together. You know, without you guys, we wouldn't be doing it. And and I feel so bad last night bailing out on you guys, but I could not do it. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I needed rest. I'd been going for damn near two days straight with very little rest. So, anyways, enough blabbering. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks, Mick. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Grafton. That is... They're showing Grafton, I think. Manjit Grafton 154. I think Manjit got that one. Seven. All right. Manjit. That's one or seven. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm kind of a little, you know, have an eyesight problem at times. I do not respond to, I cannot read the messages. That's why I'm not able to respond. But that does not mean I'm trying to ignore anyone or disrespect anyone. It is just my eyesight. It is just my eyesight. At times, it it is difficult.
that is what it is It's like that. Yes, I have a pistolet here. <laughs> want to let you know that we are delving in the other Triple P promotions and products. Let me tell you, we have Petrov's protective pads available all over the UK, Australia, and Japan for jockeys who shit themselves. Triple P, Petrov's protective pads. Get them now while they're cheap. As you buy them, the price increase. Hey, don't forget to get the potato power in your hand. Petrov's one and only Petrov's potato power. Triple P, the only one to get you the power to get through whatever gets you down and get you through the day. <laughs> Man, you'd, you'll have to ship that to my country, my house, bro. I need some of those. I need some of those. That's one. That's where we have our coffee money. I hope this is our track. That's one. Check two, that is two. It's pretty huge. Haven't seen the nine, bro. That's the four. Still haven't seen the. <sighs> the funniest thing that happened yesterday bro is i kind of uh, yesterday or day after i don't remember i kind of uh, requested during the show uh if um there there are people out there who are into you know data science and machine learning and all that we are looking for some of these guys to be a part of this channel and uh i've received about six emails so far and all of them said that we are not we, uh, actually not all about two two or uh, two, two of them said we are uh, watching the channel and rest everybody said that we heard about this in sending the email 
<laughs> That's the eight. Bam, that nine. What is wrong with that nine? Why the snake is not easy? Yes, the python is going to take time, but once you have hands on it, that is going to be a friend for your life. PC nine. All right, nine kind of is a four year old mare, and that thing is not looking normal. I don't know if that's a good thing, it's a bad thing. It is something like you know, I, I don't know what to call that thing but nine could be an extreme disappointment or nine could be you know the thing in this race i'm not going to go with it because i don't like to gamble but that nine is definitely something to look at there are no numbers on nine, nothing great apart from the fact that uh, you know these things are there and it's a local horse probably. No, I don't know, bro. That nine could be lethal in this race. That nine could be lethal in this race, or they're just trying it out, or something. I've got no clue about that nine, but it is looking, uh, you know, it's looking very abnormal. It is I what a what kind of a breed is that? Let's check that. Where is nine? Nine is here, four year old mare. So this could probably I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying. Either it is a very cheap horse, very cheap breed, or it is a very expensive one. There's no two, you know, there's, there's a lot of confusion on that thing. It's like that. I mean, sometimes a very expensive thing can look very ugly and a very, very cheap thing can look very beautiful. So it's that kind of a confusion, you know. One and coffee, Manjit, good. Ascot, here comes Ascot. Ascot, what's there with nine? Ascot, please explain. What did you find in nine? I have not dared to go with nine. Hey, bro, I'm just telling you, that's the only reason why I included the nine. I'm looking at it right now. I mean, that this horse is 18 lifetime with one second and one third. And on soft and heavy, it's one second and one third. So um, the, it's a no-brainer to try to include it. If you can do it, it's a four-year-old man, do it. 
Do it, do it, do it. Get some coffee money, baby. Get some coffee money on that nine while she's 10 to 1. Let's do it. Yeah, I think so. There's a lot of tech support which has been given to two. There's a lot of tech support on two. It's a thirteen hundred and fifty meters. All right, we're racing for a three and one. Eight. Run. Run, 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 run. Run, baby. Run. Run, run, run. Run, baby, run, baby, run. Don't, don't be a mule, Mr. Eight. Don't do that thing that you're doing. Don't, 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 don't do that thing. Yes, do that thing. That is what you're made of. Come on, run. Run, baby, run, baby, run. Run and run. There is a seven, which is gone there. Eight and three. Seven, eight and three. Man. That seven did some running, yeah? That three-year-old filly. Baby. Seven, eight, three. <clears throat> seven, eight, three. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nice. All right, we'll go to the next race. Newcastle got a Scratchings, race number three. Three has been scratched, baby.
the advantage column is gone jesus man i'm telling you there's something not right with my data today <laughs>
A favorite. As God, at times we all have to take pills for digestion. I am taking that almost every day. Welcome to the club. Oh. I have a doubt on that five. That five has numbers, but that five is... ...mismanaged. This is good. This is good. I have a doubt on that five, bro. I don't know. We'll check that thing out of the paddock. You know, blinds on these horses at times they look like bumblebee. At times, they like bumpy. Manjit Grafton, seven, twelve, eight, coffee on five. You're doing, how come you're doing two races, Manjit? Yo, if you don't remember like all my fights, like these blinders on these, these animals look like my right and left eye sometimes. But my right eye mostly because, you know, like I look at this and I'm like, oh no. And then my right eye is like, oh yes, we're going to go look over here. And then I got to try to like train it back to, you know, hey, yo, like I see that over there, Hold on. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at times, I don't know if you look at them with the blinds, they look like it looks like those bumblebee eyes, you know, especially with the one that has the mesh on it. It looks like those bumblebees are. <sighs> I'm going to get a little coffee for myself, just one minute. I didn't break anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oops. Oh, God. Hey, Mick, I hope that you know that, like, we're watching Grafton right now, dude. We're not watching, we're not watching Beaumont. So just uh, remember that. So hopefully everybody that's watching this while they're going around the track, this is not Beaumont, this is Grafton. Yeah, this is Grafton. They're, it's written bold right there. Grafton, Australia. That's not where we are racing. I think I'll probably have to change that name on that video file. <clears throat> All right. And craft the nature. Got no clue about grafting what they're doing today, but that's a fantastic track. Manjit, you are fast, yeah? You're doing two tracks at the same time. No, that's a commendable job, Manjit. You're doing a good job. Two tracks at the same time. I'm not able to do any more. It takes time for me to do one track. Can't do two tracks at the same time. <clears throat> but that's a good job if you're able to do that. Oh, five years. Where do you live, Manjit? Or where did you live before coming back to India? Cyprus, beautiful country, man. Beautiful country. Beautiful beaches. Cyprus is beautiful. I went to Cyprus some 12 years ago. After my marriage, after my marriage, me and my wife went to Cyprus. Bro, it is a beautiful country. It is a beautiful country. The beaches are pristine beaches. Pristine is the word. I mean, we have some very beautiful beaches in our country. But those beaches are kind of a little tricky to get there. Some really, really nice beaches are here in my country, but Cyprus is easy to get and, you know, some of the pristine beaches are there. Oh, okay. I went to Cyprus some 12 years ago. After my marriage, me and my wife, we went there five days. That is 
a long time ago. We had two things in mind, Cyprus and Seychelles, but we just, we were, we could do only Cyprus. I think Bali and uh, the other places are very overrated. Cyprus, Seychelles, Cyprus, both are very beautiful. Both are very beautiful. I've never been to Seychelles, but Cyprus is good. Very nice. Amazing seafood. Yeah, probably. Bhandar, Uttam Beach. I like the one near the near uh, Malad. Uh, uh, they have a beautiful resort with the Malad Beach Ascot. Uh, I I forget, I keep forgetting the name of that beach, the one near Malad, uh, which is uh, towards that area, uh, the defense area. There's a defense area. I don't remember. That's 12 years ago, Manjit. And I'm a very old man. I don't remember what I had for dinner yesterday. That's 12 years ago. 12, probably 13 years ago. 2011. I don't, but I think I can find out. Oh, no bro that detail is in my wife's phone and she is not around but wherever it was it was nice it was a very nice place i remember there was a watchtower there was a what do you call that uh, lighthouse there was a lighthouse very nearby There was a lighthouse. That's that's the thing that I remember. There was a lighthouse and uh, uh, okay, all right. There was a lighthouse and there were some very nice uh, uh, Caribbean restaurants. Uh, I think, yeah, there were some very nice Caribbean restaurants there.
There's a place where you could take bicycles on rent. There was a place. Uh, Hey, yo, I remember when there was a lighthouse in my head. It was like the light that just kept going off and I just like kept going, trying to grab it, but like it would go dark, you know, and then I would grab it and like dark. And then, you know, I wake up, and, you know, have some toast, you know, on shoes, eggs, like raw eggs in the cup, and then I go for a run and then hit the heavy bag, you know. <laughs> Lay down on your head. <laughs> Five more. That is fantastic, bro. That is fantastic. Five did the job. Man, that thing looks like a piece of work. Look at that horse, man. Look at that horse. That thing looks like I'm going to do all the damage today. All right, we're here. I'm kind of a little worried about that five in, I think, that six probably is going to do a lot of damage today <sighs> that is one one is looking mean that's one is looking mean That is fabulous, Manjeet. You've got the coffee money. Four is looking good. Where is Mr. Five? I want to I want to trade Mr. Five with Mr. Six. If Mr. Five is not impressive. But Mr. Five is very impressive. Mr. Five is... See, this is exactly what I was saying um, uh, yesterday. You know, in Hong Kong, I think uh, uh, that came from uh, Charles. Charles said that they use a lot of medication on the horses in Hong Kong. You cannot find a body language. It's very difficult to find a body language on any of the horses in Hong Kong. They look like computer programmed. They look like computer programmed. They will not even move their head. They will walk like... <laughs> yeah, probably, I don't know, but anyway, <sighs> they look like zombies, they look like, like here you, you can see, you can, you can get a feel from the body language, you can feel 
you know they're they're animals those things they look like robocops they look like robocops Bro, how that works over there is that horses can be given sedatives if they have to travel to and from the track. But that sedative can only be a certain amount of milligrams for the travel and the letdown time is what they call it. So the horse is at the track and it has to go around the track once after taking the sedative. Not in a racing setting, but at least in a loping setting. Um, I believe that that's what they do. The horse ships in, they get it situated, it comes off of the sedative, and they make sure that the horse goes around the track a day later, and then the horse is in the race either a day or two later. I think that's how it's done. You know, Jim, I think we need to, we need to dig a little more on that because, uh, you know, what is happening is... Uh, this is something that I've been uh, thinking for a while now. While racing at Hong Kong, you kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the paddock is very confusing. The, the numbers, they get confusing. But, like, uh, you know, for example, I'll tell you, yesterday, uh, it played more or less like Singapore. It played more or less like Singapore. It was a jockey-heavy track, and uh, I, I don't know, but... We need to dig a little more on that because if you look look at what the the thing happened, the twelve hundred meters especially, it was all ruled by the jockeys. And when I was trying to look at the paddock, I said this, and that is when Charles came up with that, and uh, I said that you know it's 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 becoming so difficult to get a body language on any of these horses and that's when charles said that they're being subdued with uh heavy medications so <sighs> seven newcastle you Yeah, but if you look at the paddock, that's like Robocops walking around. Those are like Robocops. Have you seen that movie, Robocop? Part 1. Murphy. They all look like Murphys. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, bro. It's just a matter of time. We need to get a few more devices. I just am running out of every resources that I have. One of my server gave up. We don't have decision tree anymore. This PC will give up any day. We need to get some more devices for this. One, four, six. Six is going to be lethal. I think five is going to get knocked out. I just, I don't know. Five, 
five probably is going to get knocked out. Five is a good horse, but it is very badly managed. Something very reckless has been attempted with that horse. Right, we are racing 1200 meters, one, five, eight, and four. Run, 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 baby. Yep. That is the six, yes. That is the six, no doubt that is the six. Run, baby, run, baby, run, baby, run, baby, run. <laughs> Now, this is where you got to do what horses do. Horses run. Run! All right. Five, you're clear. That is nine. And four. Or one. Five, nine. I told you, I'm not sure about that nine. What is that nine? That nine. <coughs> Five. <laughs> Five, nine, one. <laughs> is it Five, nine, one? Five, nine, one. Five, nine, one, four. So we did not get the coffee money, but we did get a double dip. That was, again, just lady luck today. That five did the thing. What a show. See, here they're saying Newcastle Racecourse. God knows what's going on today. Newcastle is four. Three, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Hey, bro, I put a message out on YouTube that I'm only in on coffee for the rest of the card, dude. I'm not I'm not putting anything else out there. Um, it's not worth it. This is the Beaumont um, races at Newcastle. I just watched the winner and the second place horse try to be put somewhere, and they were absolutely uncomfortable. Um, so, yeah, I'm only in on coffee, dude. I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why they put the switcheroo on this. Unless that track was rained out or it was way too heavy to run. That's why they're at Newcastle. I don't know. But coffee for the rest of the cod for me. And, yo, I can't wait to talk to you after this cod, man. I I, I can't wait. Um, but thank you to everybody else that's listening to this. Um, without you guys, we wouldn't be doing this, period. I wouldn't be up late at night. You know, even last night, like, I fell asleep. I felt so bad, but... I'm so beat. I work night. I work nights, and then sometimes people don't show up for work, so I have to, you know, I have to do their jobs. You know, that's the way it goes. So, anyways, grateful for everybody being here. Mick, can't wait to talk to you. Um, like I said, I'm only going coffee. I'm not doing anything else. So, I'll give you my coffee. We can chit chat. Don't forget to check the community page. You know, check that out and uh, join. Good way to talk to us. Share your opinions. Make yourself known. We'll share some stuff, and uh, you know, we'll go from there. Thanks, everybody. That's all right, bro. I mean, there's hardly anything happening. Hey there, it's a color festival here in India called Holi. So happy Holi to everyone. Enjoy the race. Thank you very much, Ascot. Thank you very much. I wish all the best for you and your entire family. God be very kind with everything that you wish for my friend. And that goes out for everybody listening to this. Today is a very auspicious day. I wish everybody all the very best in their life. May God be with you in every corner of your life. Hey, yo, this is the Italian stallion, Rocky Balboa, you know? I live down the corner of everybody's street in this world. You never know when somebody like me can pop up. But I feel like a moron, a complete fool, that I did not even know how to say Happy Holly. <laughs> happy Holly to everybody in the world. I wish I knew what that all was about, but I don't. But I don't want to be ignorant either. Happy Holly, everybody. My friend Jim, Holy is about the Festival of Colors. So on this day, India will go crazy and they will put colors on each other. Vibrant colors. And uh, drink and do other stuff as well but it's a very auspicious day that's what it is now my data is all messed up
वेट आई डू दैट लेट मी फर्स्ट गेट दिस स्टफ दैट इज गोइंग ऑन आई डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू विद इट इट इज नॉट लुकिंग नाइस देयर इज समथिंग नॉट राइट विद दिस रेसेस All off. A uh, big solid fella is he. Right.
I get it. So, I get it. Private, let you know. Hey, dude, I'm sorry I bailed. I heard you say stay. I couldn't. Dude, That's all right, I bro. Just, let's let's I just catch up after the races. Let's just catch up after. Let's just catch up after the races, bro. Right? All right, bro. Yeah, for real. Bye -bye. But it was a good. It was a good thing to show people. I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bye bye. Yeah. So we'll see what's going on. One is the favorite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are racing a woman. Okay, let's see. Right now, this is something that I think um, you know. Uh, it's it's something that I wanted to discuss, and uh, Jim has a point. I um, I have known this for a very very long time, and uh, uh, but you know it's kind of a thing that uh is really uh, uh i don't know how safe it is to talk publicly on a channel like this but um i'm going to share some details on the whatsapp today you know i'll probably share some details on the whatsapp which is a private group it's not open to public but we're going to be sharing some very, very strong uh, signals on, on the WhatsApp group. So I think it's a better idea to be a part of the WhatsApp group because that's where we can talk privately, not open in the channel. Uh, because that'll attract a lot of attention on what we're saying. Ooh, you know, I can... I have the I have the data which is publicly available to talk about it and uh, I just want people to be safe I just want people to be in a position to know that some decisions are going to go wrong you know and that is none of your fault it is not that you are choosing uh, you know your picks are bad. It is not about your picks are bad. It is about a situation that you are not aware of so uh, I think You know if you're listening to this if you're still not part of the whatsapp group I think you should be a part of the whatsapp group the link is uh, Shared on the community tab of this channel. Please join the WhatsApp. I'm going to be uh, sharing the details. I'm going to be, we, you know, the, the reason we have the WhatsApp group is there are things that we cannot talk publicly on a channel like this. But yes, we can uh, do that on the WhatsApp group. And, you know, that'll be, that'll be an idle place for uh, us.
starts to uh you know find these facts and uh validate them right so i think that's a better place please join the whatsapp group i think that's the best place to talk about all this yes absolutely and i i completely jim i this is i think you did the right thing um but we need to find a better place to voice it out i'm still not sure if this is the right place at at this uh you know on this channel i think it's better that we voice it out on the whatsapp group and uh you know we know what what is happening and what's cooking yeah exactly i mean we can't we can't take those names we can't point things out we can't do a lot of things that we actually should be doing but that is going against muscles that we cannot fight right at this point of time we don't have that bandwidth This is Grafton, I think. Yeah, I think that's a that's a fair idea. That's a fair thing to do.
Right, that is one. <laughs> Jerry, don't be sad. It's not your fault. Join the WhatsApp group, Jerry.
Yep, good luck. That's luck. Today is everything about luck. Right, twelve hundred meters to one eight and nine. Racing baby. Oops. Yeah. Expected. Expected Right move baby move baby move Come on run baby run run and run Run <laughs> Yeah Yeah Two had some special in instructions. Two had some special instructions. Result is what? Nine, baby, nine. Nine one and what? Nine one and fifteen. Nine one and fifteen. Two had some special instructions that two had to do. We'll go to the next race. Newcastle. Race five. Three, four, six, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. 14, 15, 17.
them up from the back there was a slow run race but she ran yes pc but i i'm going to be i'm going to be talking on the whatsapp today i'm going to share some intel later today uh this is uh, not weak as in weak but you know you cannot race if things have been already decided you cannot do anything if the results have already been decided so those those things will not work today what i'm you know
Where is Sudarshan? We haven't seen Sudarshan for a while. He's the man to talk about all that. Sudarshan had a lot of information on that. Hey bro, I'm sure that you wanted to save a little bit of this for later, but we have to explain how influences do influence certain tracks in certain parts of the world um, on a vague explanation, whether it's tonight or, you know, next time we're racing, um, I think it should be explained. Um, maybe I could put together something to explain influence and betting pools and late changes and late betting pool changes um let me know i guess we'll talk about this tonight but if it's something that i can help out with i can put something together i believe You're right, Jim.
Oh boy. Right, Grafton is rising. What is that thing doing like that? It wants to race sideways. It doesn't want to race along the track. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that thing wanted to race sideways. <laughs> Next is the 6th and 7th. The drama is there. The 6th and the 7th is the drama. The drama race as we call it. <laughs> 6th and 7th is the drama. Manjit, don't be upset Manjit, you're doing fantastic, it's not your fault, it is not your fault Manjit. Nobody's fault. Thank you. 
Dlanka. We'll get to see the drama. Go baby, go baby, go baby. Jim, how do how do Donald Trump calls his wife Melanie? Millennia? Millennia? Can you do Donald Trump? <laughs> Man, I love what he speaks. <laughs> they put me in the house with dogs. This is a hilarious one. You know, this one with... Uh, Donald Trump in Obama in it. They're both talking about <laughs> some funny stuff. When people are really talented when they go and get these clips and make them <laughs> such a beautiful video. That is the five. Bro, I don't know if I can do Donald Trump, but I'm going to do a little rough one. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We're going to make America great again. We're going to make America great again. We're going to be calling out this Biden that's a devil. The devil, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I don't even know how else to say this, but thank you so much for being here with us today. Because we're going to make America great again. Please welcome the former first lady, Melania Trump. <laughs> I think it sucked, bro. I don't know. You tell me. Bro, that was awesome, bro. That was awesome. That was awesome. We want more of that. <laughs> that was awesome. That was amazing, bro. <laughs> Then Did you see the confidence on five? Did you see the confidence on five? Oh. 
Like it's not a race, it's a walk the park. But did you check the confidence on, on five? The owner looked like... Either it is his day or it is... He's been compensated. Either he is here just to participate and it really doesn't matter or is the other way. It really doesn't matter because he knows who's winning. That owner looked like he owned a popcorn factory or something, like he was just waiting on somebody to do something for him. Let's wait to see what this horse can do for himself, not for the owner. It's all about the horse for himself, you know? Hey, yo, I just, like, had to punch myself in the face to be able to come back to reality because my phone was all screwed up, you know? But, hey, yo, whatever you guys pick, you pick. I guess I'm gonna go on coffee on number ninety-nine. <laughs> Baby. Jim is the best one to explain that. Jim, those are Lululemon pants. Those are Lululemons. Say Lululemons. Lululemons. Jim. Mm. 
Jim is probably scratching his own lemons. <laughs> Eighth is yours. Yes, Ivan Pastrovich. Yes, spokesperson for Triple P Enterprises and salutations to everybody being involved. No, those protective pads made from potato. Petrov's <laughs> potato power. The biggest absorbent, the best alcohol producer in the world. There's no question. I sell it worldwide. I sell it worldwide every single day. No. Dollar ninety nine. You get those pads. You want those pads. You need those pads because you shit yourself. Two ninety nine for seventeen. See what is happening. What did I tell you about five, bro? What did I tell you about five? What did I tell you about five? What was that on five, baby? Go. Don't worry, don't worry, you don't have to whip that horse. There's nobody who's going to be near you, baby. That is just you, baby. That is just you. Today, you are the showstopper. You are the showstopper. So that is what it is. Jim, did you see that? What did I tell you about the owner of that number five? What did I tell you? That is... That is what happened. Manjit, do not worry, Manjit. You're doing good. <laughs> Man. God. Yeah, what is the result? Five definitely got there. We have all seen. We are all witness to that. We are all witness to that. I think we should also get a channel 5161. Of course, why not? 161. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. See, it's sixth and seventh. They're going to mess things up. Probably seventh, they'll do something. Oh, they. So, this is. The drama is fifth and sixth. This is seven race. There are seven races today. So, the drama is fifth and the sixth, not sixth and the seventh. <laughs> Race six, right, let's go. <sighs> it's 
3 and 9.
We're going to do a little thing today. I 
Sir Boo, but he's going to need everything to go his own. Right, but I'm not going to be putting any money on this race. No bets. <sighs> I'm not putting in any money because this is the sixth race. We've seen what happened in fifth. It's pretty evident from the body language of these people. Manjit, be careful, my friend. Be careful. Probably the best thing to do is It is, it is. And you know, Jim, it was so evident from the body language of that owner, man. I have never seen, you know, th I think this is something that has become a, my habit, if I can put it that way. When you look at, a, you know, when you look at the owner who's taking the horse from the paddock to the track it it tells you the story of that race it tells you the story of the race there's lack of seriousness there's lack of interest there's lack of there's a lot of confidence there's a lot of you know everything when i looked at that five the very moment i i guess that's when i spoke out did you look at that five either is aware of what is happening and he doesn't care I mean, these small things, you know, if why we have this channel is, you know, I think what we do here will give you a little bit of idea of things that you should take a note of when you're racing, because at the end of the day, it's your money. You're the one who's going to be responsible for that. But where you're putting that money, under what conditions, I think you need to check. I mean, when we buy vegetables, we check that vegetable at least for freshness, for dampness. This is not a sport where you go blind. It has to... It has to be sensible. It has to be done sensibly. Nobody can come to you and take your money because you've been foolish. That's not a great thing to put on your resume. Manim, 
there is a lot of thing going wrong today one which race grafton where is one in grafton okay that's one there i think what is the distance 1200 meters 1400 meters looks like a looks like a 1400 probably See, Manjit, that's not your fault. That is not your fault, my friend. Yep. This is exactly why Manjit, I'm asking you to be careful. Not only you, but everyone. I have no bets on this race. I'm going to watch this. This is six, race number six. Maniam, it's not your fault, Maniam. It's not your fault. You were probably right. And I could see that one to be controlled. That one was being controlled rigorously. It's not your fault, Maniam. You're welcome, Maniam. I'm just trying to be of whatever little help that I can be for people to know that there are things that are being prearranged. 
certain things are that is so beautiful maniam please tell your daughter happy birthday from all of us i wish her all the best for all her life that is such a beautiful thing you should spend some time with the daughter take her out buy her that dress that is very beautiful maniam may god be always with your daughter and you yeah yeah manjit 1510 coffee too 1510 coffee too let's look at the hots <laughs> One five ten coffee chicken nuggets thirteen let's take let's take a look at the paddock man let's take a look at the paddock I'll tell you Manjit I'll tell you you needed ascot today ascot would be the right guy to play today ascot plays with laying horses then Eleven. Yes, even I have a feeling on that. Manjit, you're spot on. Even I have a feeling on that. That's the thirteen. think yeah 13 11 for coffee money i think 11 and 13 for coffee money is that's just my thought bro i'm not sure you know how things are today so be safe 
be safe, my friend. It takes a lot to make money. It takes a lot. And I couldn't catch anything on the paddock. Thirteen and two. <laughs> uh, eleven and thirteen both good for coffee money, and they are rising. They're rising, buddy. Jim, what are you getting on 13 on your system? Was the odd like? And 11, both. 13 and 11. Jesus Christ, and it's climbing, it's rising. Every second it's climbing. If they pay out on this one, the next one they are not going to pay out. It's either of these two, sixth or the seventh. They didn't pay on the fifth.
Right, 1300 meters. We are racing, baby. Run, 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 baby, run. Two, five, twelve, that's thirteen. So they did work like next one they'll so here's what I've done 12 to 5 yes 12 to 5 so this is all high risk right this is all high risk This is all high risk. That is what has happened. The rated ones did not do anything. That's brilliant. If I had played this, this would have given me a double dip with a fabulous number. If I had played this. I just don't, I just don't, you know, that's not how I play, you know, that is not how I play. Two, five, twelve, uh, twelve, five, two, I think, or twelve, two, five. Twelve, five, two. This would have gotten me a fantastic double dip with approximately one to sixteen, one to seventeen on that this is unbelievable amount of <sighs> about one to seven huge money one to seven is on the on the one to seven with the best platforms but with some it is even 1 1.9 1, uh, 1 to 9 1 to 11 some platforms are going to be higher than that you know the reason i did not put money on this race is because i did not i this is not on the this is not on the on the horses this is basically on how Singapore might play. I am sorry, I just said that, but yeah. This is speculation. This was speculation. This is not what I play. I play performance. I play numbers. This is speculation. Right, we'll move on to the next race. So they didn't pay 
one. Okay, this is 1100 meter, 1200 meter actually. See how beautifully it has been arranged. Jesus Christ, I'll have to. Man, uh, they're playing music here. I have to mute this. I have to mute this. Hold on one second, please. 
Mila Woolgate writer Ross.
Hey guys, before Mick went offline, all we were saying is that everybody be safe and responsible out there. We don't like to promote anything crazy. You know, we see some things that are going on tonight that we'll talk about after racing, but everybody that's making picks, just please be safe. And, you know, again, a huge thanks to you guys for being here and taking the time out to be with us. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to join in on the Skype um, and the WhatsApp on the community side of the page. Thanks again, everybody. We'll talk soon after the races.
Yes, Ivan Pestrovitz yet, trying to tell you about side effects of Triple P. Everybody here, get quiet. I know you be drinking it. Get it more. Get through your day. You don't have to be loud. You can be quiet. Enjoy your Triple P. See you next time.
she's her own worst enemy. If there's anything around her, she'll she'll go too fierce. Uh, she's nice and fresh. Jeff will get her out of the gates. If she finds a rail and there's not too much pressure, they'll they'll have to be good to run her down. But um, if, as I say, if they take her on, uh, they'll all cut each other's throat. But. We'll see what happens, but both of them are in good order. Yeah, probably circumstances not to suit here this afternoon, but a couple of nice horses. Yeah, exactly. I've got one going to the front and one coming from behind, so um, that's always handy, um, depending on which way the races run. Good luck. Thank you. Open race to finish off the day, and the market reflects that. My numbers are 7, 5, 6 and 12. Leaving Don't You Think on top. Lovely improvement he's made from his first up run at Tamworth. I'm just hoping he can stay within striking distance here, stepping up to 1,150 metres from the 1,000 first up at Tamworth. 5 old Zoomia will probably posse up right up on top of the speed with the claim for Molly Fitzgerald. 6, Zybe also has good tactical speed. She was well-placed last campaign, winning the 2 from 5. And I've included the 12 in Borrowed Luck. Didn't have her in this morning, but the way this track's playing with the claim for Ella Drew, she's trialled up very well, showing good speed in those trials. And I would think she'll do the same here today from the middle draw. 7, 5, 6, 12. 12, 7, 5 and 8. Uh, I originally had Pure Fuego on top, but with the way the track's playing, I scrapped that idea. So I've gone the way of Borrowed Luck. I have to say, uh, although don't you think, I think looks a really nice up-and-coming horse, I just couldn't get the trials of Borrowed Luck out of my head. She's won both in behind, very or in a, ahead of very smart gallopers and uh, she's a mare that can go a little fierce. There looks to be already a lot of speed on paper and now the track's playing on speed. I think they'll really roll along better again and she looks to get the nice drop off that with the claim for Ella Drew. The danger for mine is don't you think he's made a significant improvement from that first up run. I think the track improving for him will play in his favour and he looks to get that beautiful run in behind the solid speed also. The five I'll zoom you. It's going to take a, a bit of speed early to cross from that outside gate, but he's a very good horse when he can jump, lead and dictate. And with that claim for Molly, who's already rode a winner today, he'll take a bit of running down. And the eight Kai Koku, I know they haven't been making up a lot of ground, but he's a lovely style of galloper. The, the improving track will really help him. And I have to say, uh, something has to give at some stage. They can't go hard throughout. If they overdo it, it'll set it up for him. 12, 7, 5 and 8. Yeah, we did see that in the previous race, uh, air apparent and chest time set a good tempo up in front. PD was able to get the sit and was able to pull away for a really nice win under the urgings of Ella Drew. To be alive in the quarter, you need nine piece of cake in the first leg. Second leg, Eye of the Fire, who was probably our most impressive win of the day for Annabelle Neesham. Third leg, you need PD. And this last leg, good luck if you're still alive because it's a pretty open race to finish off the day. Yeah, absolutely. I spent far too, too much time going back and forth with this race and then with how the track's playing, I scrapped that idea and started all over again. So good luck to punters. I hope you can find the winner in the last. Loading up well here for the last. We've just got two more to load. It looks as though it could be the 13 Spanish Missile and the 11, which is Cavonte. Here's Phil Roberts for the last at Newcastle. Or don't you think numbers you need to be alive are 9, 5 and 12. So just about all loaded away here for the last. Spanish Missile comes up to the outside gate. Cavente is in there. And the line looks set. Red light. Last on the Beaumont track. Soft five. Lucky Sham made a lunge at the gates. Attendants uh, lending a hand with one of these runners and they're away. And don't you think, uh, Gigi Guy, fairly away near the inside, going forward as Pocket Sage and Zybe's going up as well and uh, pushing forward as old Zumia. So the favourite's going to be in the firing line early. Spanish Missile a little bit deep into that first turn. Cavente uh, in about fifth spot early on. Then don't you think, followed by a hit the rim. Further back, Gigi Guy now getting back to midfield with Kay Cuckoo. Borrowed luck. Uh, Pure Fuego back second last. And a couple away uh, back at the tail is Lucky Sham. So coming up towards the uh, 500 metres and Zybe getting an uncontested lead out in front. Second on its outside is Ol Zumi. It's now off its back and starts to close in nicely. There are a couple in front of Pocket Sage. Cavente, Spanish Missile. Don't you think? Gigi Guy near the inside and Borrowed Luck coming right down the outer. Zybe is grabbed as they run to the 200 metres by Isle Zumia. Pocket Sage uh, getting up behind them as Gigi Guy. Wider as Don't You Think. 
It is Old Zumia narrowly in front. Gigi Guy gets a split to come after this leader. Old Zumia, Gigi Guy, don't you think? Three across the track. Gigi Guy put the nose in front. Gigi Guy. Gigi Guy over either Old Zumia or don't you think? And Pure Fruit go on their heels in fourth. Followed by Kate Koku. Borrowed luck. Uh, further back then was Pocket Sage. Cavente, Lucky Sham. Well back was hit the rim with Zybe and Spanish Missile. Well, that just rounds out the type of day it is. Gigi Guy gets his seventh win on the board at start number 56. Hasn't been in the winner's circle for 667 days. They went along at a good clip up in front. Nice ride from Grant Buckley, saved all the ground, got the brakes when he needed it, and just gets there in the nick of time. Old Zumia was very good, did the work to sit outside the leader, give a good kick at the top of the straight, and has just found one better. Don't you think was very good? He was chasing the entire off a hot speed and has held on nicely for third position and the fourth spot will go to the three pure fago who was doing his best work late was ridden quietly today four five seven and three well i have kylie kennedy with me and uh, congratulations and what a ride from grant thank you i didn't think he was going to get out there but he slowly pushed his way out it was a good win i have to say prior to coming in today i remember watching his replay i think it was around three runs ago at Dubbo and he just didn't look to quite run out at the 1100 metres but today 11.50 no query. Yeah Grant's just got to know the horse and we just decided to ride him quiet and yeah he got it nice today and Grant even reckons he'll get further so yeah. yeah. Nice style of horse where do you head to from here? I don't know we've had to bring him here to sort of find races for him because he's such a highly rated horse so I don't know where we'll go so back to the drawing board. <laughs> Good problem to have. <laughs> Absolutely well nice way to finish the day and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Nice to see Kylie Kennedy here. She makes the trip from Narromine. You've seen a little bit of this horse, Belinda. He's had a few different homes. Is that correct? Is that the horse? No, not 100% sure. I probably only looked at it in the last few runs. I remember he was a real eye catcher when he ran second at Custo. He looked mm -hmm. a pretty smart galloper. And off that, you'd think he'd go on to win a couple of races. But he put in a couple of shonky ones in between. But we saw the best of him today. And I have to say, the ride won the race. Uh, he got back a couple of pairs. But Grant saved every inch pinching runs between gallopers. And that's what you needed to do here today. With this rail just out a few metres, in that little section. The track's played a little on speed and if not, you need to make ground back towards the inside. Grant was obviously aware of that, saved all the ground and waited for the break. She couldn't get back and circled them here today. I absolutely agree. Uh, watching replays, when you watch the, the head-on shot, you could see a fair bit of muck kicking up three and four in the three and four wide line, but one and two off the fence, it was immaculate. Yep, we're going to catch up with winning rider Grant Buckley. It's pretty rare we go to these meetings and don't see Grant ride a winner. He does the miles and He's rewarded with a winner here this afternoon. So we'll catch up with our winning rider, Grant Buckley. Well done, Grant. They went along at a good clip and he just needed the brakes late. Yeah, right. He had a lot of weight, you know, and I sort of just didn't want to spend too much gas and he sort of was able to get on their backs and sort of get out at the right time, you know. I reckon he got exposed too far from home. He probably would have been gassed, but it just worked out beautiful. Yeah, he's a horse that hasn't won a race in a little while, but these types of races suit him when he gets the right running transit. Yeah, no, but it was, um, yeah, but it was just sort of, just everything mapped out beautiful for him. He was able to get a really good drag and, yeah, it was good to ride for the winner for them people. They're um, great supporters of mine and uh, good people. Nice ride. Thank you. Winning rider there, Grant Buckley. Four, five, seven and three across the line here at Newcastle. Short neck by a long head. Time 108.47. Last 600 at 35 28. It's been a really nice day here on track. Tough to find a winner, but still the same. The track's played okay here. Yeah, it has. It's, it can play like this. Uh, obviously, the track continued to improve throughout the afternoon, and that really showed uh, where how the track maps. But leading into it, doing the form, it was on a soft seven. It stayed a soft seven. So uh, obviously, you have to change tact and uh, go as the day evolves. Alrighty, that concludes our coverage here out of Newcastle. I hope you've managed to find a winner or two. Belinda and Priscilla will join you for from Tari tomorrow. It's back to you in the studio, John. And Melinda and Belinda, thank you very much indeed for your uh, help today and uh, giving us all the late mail there from Newcastle. Also, Phil Roberts for his calls. And the last race of the day goes to one of the roughies. Yes, no doubt about it. 52.90 and 10.70. You can see on that replay that oh, Grant Buckley was looking for a way out, looking for a way off the rails all the way down the straight, and he finally got the break and Gigi Guy got home to defeat Isle Zumia. That pays $2 for a place. Don't you think? Pays $1.80. Pure Fuego has run fourth. The quadrilla today at uh, Newcastle on the numbers 9, 5,